Hey everyone, in this video I want to share with you five quick landscape fixes that you can complete in five clicks or less. So we'll jump into Onward Photo Raw 2020 and we'll go through a variety of different landscape images. We'll adjust color, we'll adjust exposure, and a few different things all in five clicks or less. So now we're inside Onward Photo Raw 2020 and my first tip for landscape photos in five clicks or less is using the color balance filter and a blend mode to modify your color and also incorporate contrast. So if we take a look at this photograph here, we can immediately tell that it's pretty flat. There's not a whole lot of contrast within this image, so it's looking a little bit boring. But we can easily add in contrast and make those details pop by using a blend mode with a filter. So to save ourselves a few clicks, we can actually transfer between tabs really easily just by using our keyboard. So I'm inside of the develop tab now, but if I want to go into the effects tab to add a filter, I can do that by simply hitting S on my keyboard. So now I'm in the effects tab and I can use my first click to add a filter. Now with these filters, I'm going to add the all new to 2020, this new color balance filter. And the color balance filter is an awesome filter for modifying the color tones within your shot because you can modify your highlight, mid-tone, and shadow ranges. So if you wanted to bring in, you know, a cool temperature or a warm temperature strictly to your mid-tones, you could do that really easily with this all new color balance filter. Well, in this color balance filter, I'm going to use another one of my clicks here and click on this more option. And I'm going to go down to vivid cool and I'm just going to hover over it. And to save time, I'm just going to hit enter on my keyboard. So now I've changed my color balance to a nice cool temperature. And even though we've modified the color tones within our shot, we still have this dull looking photograph because there's not any contrast. So we can modify the contrast really easily by incorporating a blend mode into the filter. So to use our fourth click, we're going to go into the blending options here with this gear icon. And then we're going to go into our mode menu here. And in our mode menu, a few different options that you can use to incorporate contrast are overlay and soft light. Now overlay and soft light are both in the contrast category of blend modes. Now, overlay is going to incorporate a bit stronger of contrast than the soft light contrast. So you can use the overlay and soft light kind of depending on your photograph to really bring in the mood of your shot. So overlay looks a little bit too strong. So I'm just going to hover over this soft light. And to save myself a click, I'm just going to hit enter. And now I have that contrast incorporated into my shot. And I also have the color so that it's not so warm on my photo. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard to view the original shot, we've modified the color tones within the photograph to correct them so they're not so cool or too warm. And we've also incorporated contrast really easily in just a few clicks by using a blend mode. And now we can move on to my second landscape quick fix in five clicks or less, which is actually modifying specific areas on your image using local adjustments. So, a quick fix within landscapes, if we're looking at this particular landscape, we can already see that the sky area is a bit blown out. But if we pull back on the exposure here, and don't count this as my click, this is just an example. If I pull back on my exposure here, we have a ton of detail in our sky area that we can incorporate back into our shot by using a local adjustment layer. So I'm just going to reset all of these real quick. And so now we're down to zero. We have nothing going on in our shot here. And so in five clicks or less, let's incorporate a local adjustment that brings back the tonalities in this sky. So to access our local adjustment tab from our develop tab and save ourselves a click, all we have to do is hit K on our keyboard. Now I'm inside of the local adjustment tab and to save us a click, it's already going to create a new local adjustment layer for us and it's automatically set to darken. So to save ourselves another click, we need to switch to our adjustable gradient. So to do that, we're going to hold down shift and hit K on our keyboards. Shift and K is going to grab us our adjustable gradient. So now we can use this gradient to apply that local adjustment layer to the top of our photograph. So we'll use our first click and we're going to head up to our preset menu. And we're going to make sure that we have linear bottom selected. And the reason we want linear bottom is because we can see that with this mask view, the white area is on the top, so it's applying the local adjustment to the top of our photo. So we'll leave it at linear bottom. And to save a click, if you want to, you could just hit enter on your keyboard. And now I'll use my second click to drop down the local adjustment layer. And depending on how your image looks and how 
your sky area is on your photograph, one thing you could do to make this a lot more natural is you could just pull down on the feathering a bit. So that'll be my third click. And then I can use my fourth click here. I'll pull this down a little bit, just like that. And then I'll use my last click here to modify a different slider. And the slider that I want to modify, I'm just going to pull back on the exposure a little bit more. We're not really too worried about these mountains and hills up here anyway. We're really kind of focused on this foreground area right there in general. So if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard to view our original shot, if we're taking a look at the sky area, we can really see a difference in the tonality in our sky and there's a lot more detail simply by using that quick local adjustment fix to selectively apply it to the top of our image and nowhere else on the frame. So my next quick landscape fix in five clicks or less is to modify the foundational look of your shot simply by using your color dropper and a camera profile. So inside of our develop tab here, we can use our color temperature dropper to actually modify the color tones within our shot and take away all of this blue color cast. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, I haven't modified anything on this shot so we have this really, really intense blue color cast, and it's really kind of making this water a bit too cool for my liking. So to fix that, we can quickly correct our color by just using this color dropper in the color area. So I'm going to use my first click. I'm going to click on this icon there. And now what we need to do is we need to take this icon and we need to drop it on an area in our photograph that should be gray. So let's evaluate our photo here for a second and just think about the areas that should be gray. Now typically, when water is flowing like this or we have a long exposure with water, those areas are typically white to gray. So a quick way to correct our color temperature is I'm just going to use this little area right here because this area should be gray on my photograph, this little area of water flowing in between these rocks. So if I just drop it on here, voila, it immediately corrects for that color temperature. It brings back a lot of those nice, vibrant, warm tones in the sunset so that we don't have that blue color cast in our scene. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we've fixed our color temperature, but now we need to modify the overall tones within our scene. So to fix the foundational look and sort of set our base uh, exposure, we're actually going to use a camera profile. So new to On Mode Photo Raw 2020, you can actually import your own camera profiles into the program and use them on your shot. Now for this example, I'm just going to go in here to my camera profile, and I'm going to go down to camera landscape. Now the reason I like camera landscape is because if I hover over my on one landscape, it blows out the highlights a bit too much and adds in some contrast. Whereas if I go over this camera landscape here, it brings in some of that nice saturation to the scene and it kind of flattens the, the mood of the, the shot out a bit so that it's not so high contrasted and I can actually con control the contrast a bit more with my own sliders. So I'm just going to click on this camera landscape. And that's my fourth click. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we have a pretty nice base look on our shot. But one last thing we could do to our shot and use our fifth click here is I'm just going to head down here to my black slider and I'm going to hold down my J key on my keyboard. That's going to show me my clipping warnings and then I'm just going to pull back until I see a little bit of blue within my shot. And this blue overlay is showing me all of my clipping warnings in my blacks. So this is showing me that all of this blue overlay in my scene is true black without any detail. So it's really high contrasted areas. So if I take my finger off my J key and I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, in just five clicks, we've gone in, we've modified the color of the shot, we've modified the contrast and the exposure, and really set a nice look onto this shot simply by using the develop tab. And my next tip for landscape quick fixes in five clicks or less is to use the all new AI match feature to match the look that you saw on the back of your camera while simultaneously using the all new preset browser to incorporate style and color and mood into your shot. So with this particular landscape, one thing we could do to easily bring out the style in the shot and make it a little less flat is to quickly hit this AI match button. So I'm going to use my first click. I'm going to click on AI Match. And what AI Match is doing is it's basically taking this raw image file and it's giving it the look that I saw on the back of the camera when it was taken. So 
If you're shooting in RAW and you're shooting in a landscape mode or a neutral mode or deep mode in your camera, you can bring back that look that you saw simply by clicking on this AI match button here. So now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, it's a bit subtle, but it brings in a lot of the nice detail that was already in the scene. And a cool thing we can do with this AI match here is we can modify the amount that it uses. So if I pull this back and forth here, I can incorporate less or more of this AI match look onto my photo. So don't count those clicks. We're just going to use that first click I used for AI match. But just by hitting the backslash key on our keyboard, we have a more uniform photograph to work with now. So to incorporate style really easily, we can just use the all new preset browser inside Photo Raw 2020. So to access the preset browser, we can just head down here and click on this icon right here in the bottom left corner. And now we have this all new preset browser with a bunch of all new presets added into Photo Raw so that you can use them and bring out all of the tones and colors in your images. One preset category that I really like, especially for landscapes, is this vivid landscape. So I'll use my third click here. So in this preset browser, I can see that a lot of these adjustments apply nice looks onto my shot here. But one of my all-time favorites is this VL7. So I'll just click on VL7 here. That'll take my fourth click away. And you can see it brings in a lot of nice detail, some contrast. So if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard now, we've done a lot to this photograph in just a few clicks, and we have one last click left. So what I would like to do with this last click here is just adjust the fade on this landscape. So new to Photo Raw 2020, in the preset browser, we can actually adjust the amount of our presets. So if I want to apply less of this preset, I can pull back on the fade. And then if I want to apply more, I can pull it up all the way. I'm just going to pull it back just a hair about right there. So now if we hit the backslash key on our keyboard, we've used our five clicks and we've taken this photograph and we've brought it to life simply by using a preset and also using our new AI match feature. So with my last quick landscape fix in five clicks or less, we're going to use an all new feature in Photo Raw that allows you to automatically develop your image's tonality quickly and easily. So if we take a look at this photograph here, obviously it's a nicely exposed photograph, but there's not a whole lot of life to it. Well, an easy way to quickly develop our image's tonality and set the foundational look is to use this all new AI Auto tool. And AI Auto is going to take our image, it's going to determine where the midtones are, the shadows, the highlights, and things like that. And then it's going to modify all of the different sliders in our tone and color pane to bring out all of the different tonalities within the image. So to use my first click, I'm going to develop the tonality of my image by using this new AI Auto feature. So if I click on this, it's going to intelligently bring out all of the tones. And one thing that we could actually do with the tone here is it's similar to AI Match where I can actually modify the amount but I'm going to leave it at 100 for this particular photograph. And now we've developed the tone in our shot. And a quick way to bring in color that we've used earlier is to use a camera profile. So in our camera profiles here, you can actually incorporate your own camera profiles if you wanted to import those into the program. But I'm actually going to use this camera landscape here. And by using camera landscape for my third click, you can see it automatically brings out a lot of the life and the vibrance within this scene. But one thing I could do to sort of dim the image down a little bit and make sure that it's not so cool is I could head down and for my fourth click, I'm going to pull up on this temperature slider just a hair so that it's a little bit warmer and it's not so blue in the clouds there. So now we have one last click here. I'm going to go down here into my tone and color area and I'm just going to pull up on my contrast slider to incorporate a little bit more contrast within the frame. And so now if I hit the backslash key on my keyboard, we've gone from this photo to this photo in five clicks. So those are my five quick landscape fixes in five clicks or less. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more on one quick tip and trick videos.